What is up, everybody? How are we doing? Of course, the vent is closed. Down to smash always does. How is everyone today? This beautiful Sunday evening. What's up, sir? Oh, I'm doing great, thank you. Doing great. All right, so right now, to give you guys an FYI of where we're at, okay, let's see. All right, so if anyone wants to get the ball rolling on the monster, we have three left, it looks like. I'm just going through all the orders right now. Premier is filled on the first one. And then we will start the monster. And there's one left in stature. Eight left in ingrained. The Series 1, Series 2 sold out. The monsters at two left. We are looking mighty good, folks. So I'm going to get the randoms ready for the premiere. In the first premiere, and then uh, we'll move on with the breaks. And then the Leaf game. What's up, TJ? How you doing? Hopefully you guys all get to watch the Leaf game with me today. That will be fun. All right. I hope so, Jeff. I, uh, I'm a little worried for tonight. I'm not going to lie. Columbus looked good. But to be fair, they also look against Boston. And Boston looked very bad against... Uh, Philly today too so hopefully it's just Boston was not very good rather than Columbus is very good but
<laughs> That's awesome. Trying to put uh, put that re special request in. So in about five minutes, folks, I'm going to do the randoms for the first double up, 12077. No worries. As I said, I've been gone for the week, so I don't know what Dan's worked out with you or has not or has done. But either way, I'm more than happy to help. More than happy to help. And, of course, if you guys wanted any of the uh, current breaks going, so we just started now, but we are going to get the ball rolling nice and quick because – Premier's going to be the first one up. We're going to do it in about three minutes. We're going to do the randoms. Then we got Stature sold out. Series 1, Series 2 sold out. We got 11 left in the Chancer, 10 in the SBA, 8 in Ingrained, um, 3 in the Monster. We are chugging along. So we have a lot of cool things going our way. It's all good. I know where you're getting uh, getting to, so it's all good. Let's go in green. I agree. I want to get all the breaks going tonight. Is that what time I said it as at 7.15 or did I say 7.30? Yeah. Well, the good news is you still be at a few boxes of stature no matter what. But, yeah, you guys don't want to have to wait and get these going. You have Florida, Arizona, Anaheim. That's all that's in your way. There's no point of stopping that. So, and ideally, the sooner we can get it done, the better. But... But I'm going to do the randoms for the 12077, so good luck to everybody here. Uno momento. Here we go. Here we go, 12077, three times, one, two, three. Copy, paste. One, two, three, copy, paste. All right, TJ's got Nashville, Keith has Anaheim, Kmara, Ottawa, Smith, Smith's got Carolina, Zach's got Pittsburgh, Toronto, TJ, Ed Money, Elbows, Arizona, Tigers got Columbus, Sean, Minnesota, Zach, Dallas, Lou's got Montreal, Kmara, Boston, Keith has Philly, Elbows, Vancouver, Kmara, LA, Chef's got Islanders, Zach's got Florida, Lou's got Detroit, Zach, Chicago. Smin's got New Jersey. Kmara, San Jose, Washington. Zach, Rangers. Kmara, St. Louis. Sean's got Buffalo. Tiger, Calgary. Chef's got Tampa. Keith, Winnipeg, Colorado. All right, five minutes. I'll be right back. I'm going to go fill my water up quickly. And I will be right back, folks. Be golden.
All right, folks. So any trades to report? Are we ready to start off the first break? All right, well, we're going to start the first one because I don't think anyone has any trades, and then I'll do the randoms for the next break right after. So good luck to everybody. Here we go, starting off CNC break number 12,077. We have the two boxes of Drumia, and holy moly, the Leafs are going to be playing tonight, folks. How exciting. And Golden, how happy are you, man? How happy are you with the hats? Good game they played, honestly. For the Vancouver Canucks, the 399, Louis Erickson. Louis Erickson. For the Montreal Canadiens, Sergachev. Sergachev. For the Maple Leafs, the 299 rookie patch auto, Kasperi Kapanen. Kasperi Kapanen. For the Buffalo Sabres signatures, Ryan O'Reilly. Ryan O'Reilly. For the Ottawa Senators of 49, Premier Swatch is Eric Carlson. Eric Carlson. For the Avalanche, the 25 four color rookie patch, Chris Bigra. Four color, Chris Bigra. And we got a Calgary Flames, Mark Jankowski. You'd be worried to get skunk. What teams do you got? Dallas Stars, Jamie Bend, 399, Mini in Buffalo. Fair enough. Winnipeg Jets, Kyle Connor, to 199. Kyle Connor. For the Maple Leafs to 299, Brendan Leipzig. Thank God for O'Reilly. Brendan Leipzig. For the Montreal Canadiens, Sergachev. Rookie jersey. For the Penguins to 399, Rookie Auto, Jay Gensel. Jake. Gensel for the Pittsburgh Penguins. For the Coyotes, a 25 three color patch, Max Domi. Max Domi. And for the Devils, John Quinville jersey. There we go, folks. Well, those other two boxes, in my opinion, should be slightly better.
should be slightly better as an FYI, folks, in my opinion. So take that for what it's worth. Give me one second, I'm gonna get the next break going. Yeah, Edmonton had a bit of a rough game, man. Eh? And by the way, let's get that monster going, folks. There's no point of killing uh, extra bonuses if you don't need to. All right, 12.073. Kuba Leak, holy Jesus, he looked good, eh? My gosh. Here we go, 12,073, everything three times. One, two, three. Okay, that goes all the way there. One, two, three. Copy, paste. G Max got Minnesota. Steve F Toronto. Perps got Vegas. Smen's got Islanders. Elbows Buffalo. BB's got Ottawa. PB's got Boston. Stan Dallas. Chef Ed Money. Dark's got Tampa. Lowen's got Vancouver. BA's got Winnipeg. Chef's got St. Louis. Dirk's got Calgary. Lee for Columbus. Webo to Arizona. Chef's got Detroit. Van Seven Washington. Downtown's got Colorado. BA's got Carolina. Spencer, L.A., IBJ, Chicago, Elbows, Philly, Sean, Montreal, Dark, Florida, Webo 2, Rangers, B.A.'s got San Jose, Van, Seven's got New Jersey, Perps got Pittsburgh, Lee for Nashville, Alex, Anaheim. All right, and I'll be back again. Just going to make sure everything's locked up around here. First, I'm going to put this one in the thread. And I'll be back, and then I'll grab the boxes, the Series 1 and Series 2 break, and then we'll move into Stature right after. All right, so give me one second, folks.
All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, 12,073 is about to start. 12.073. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Here we go, starting off CNC break number 12,073. We've got the two boxes of Series 1 and the two boxes of Series 2. I moved it over, right? Yep, I did. And again, Stash will be after this. I just got to uh, said slowly but surely heat up my food, get everything done. So good luck. 30th anniversary for the Avalanche, Patrick Waugh. And that's a nice start. A signature sensation of Granlin for the Preds. Signature sensations. Young Guns of Abramov for the Ottawa Senators. Canvas of Andreas Johnson for the Maple Leafs. Energy of Huberto for the Panthers. I don't know why they would be, to be honest. Ryan McDonough for the Tampa Bay Lightning Fortress. Young Guns of Joaquin Nygaard for the Oilers. I don't think it was a bad play. Now, again, I don't remember all the angles that I saw, but shooting stars for the Habs of Gallagher. Clayton Keller, Generation Next for the Coyotes. Brandon Gignac for the Devils, Young Guns. Canvas of Mark Andre Fleury for the Golden Knights. Young Guns for the Devils, Jesper Bokvist. Portrait of Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. Pure Energy of Doughty for the LA Kings. As I said, I only saw, I think, the one replay, which was like the side board replay. Lungfist for the Rangers. So I don't really have too much to, to say on it, but Pure Energy of Kucherov for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Pure Energy of Kopitar for the LA Kings. Game Jersey Alex Tuck for the Golden Knights. Alex Tuck. We've got is it a 30th yeah, anniversary for the Oilers of McDavid. Portraits rookies of Quinn Hughes for the Canucks. Young Guns Canvas Max Verano. Ottawa Senators, Young Guns Canvas. Young Guns for the Anaheim Ducks, Max Jones. You mean the coach of the, the team? 30th anniversary of the Oilers, Wayne Gretzky. Young Guns, Rasmus Sandin for the Leafs. At the end of the day, Blue Shirts, he's not going to say it's a clean hit. Canvas of Drew N for the Habs. Not the way his team reacted. Like, regardless of whether the situation was clean or not, his coach is going to come out and defend his player and say, hey, like, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, I thought on the highlights I saw Wheeler fight Kachuk. Did he not? I don't know if it was that game or if it was a highlight of it, but. Shooting Stars Red Parallel of Brock Besser. 
Connor McDavid, 30th anniversary for the Oilers. Young Guns, Libor Hayek for the Rangers. Yeah, what happened with Line A? Anything on that one? We got a random, the Series 1 checklist of the Hughes brothers, Devils, and the Canucks. Canvas of Jamie Ben, Dallas Stars. Is he out, though? Is it just uh, that, that game? Pure Energy of Jeru. Portrait of Tuka Rask. Boston Bruins. Portrait of Getzlaff for the Anaheim Ducks. Young Guns, Carson Twarinski. Philadelphia Flyers. Generation Next of Darlene. Pure Energy of Logan Couture. We've got a canvas of Vasilevsky. Young Guns, Tampa Bay Lightning, Carter Verhage. Portrait of Connor Hennebuck. Pure Energy of Dylan Larkin. We got a game jersey of Jordan Greenway for the Wild. Jordan Greenway. Minnesota. Generation next of Miro Heiskanen for the Dallas Stars. Canvas, which will be random between the Oilers and the Caps of OB and McDavid. Pure energy of Sidney Crosby. Pittsburgh Penguins. Portrait of Brent Burns for the Sharks. Young Guns of Martin Fairberry for the Caps. 30th anniversary of Patrick Waugh for the Avalanche. Young Guns, Ryan Paling for the Habs. Canvas of Brady Shea for the Rangers. Box two, done. All right. I don't know what that means. It's funny when staff members try to talk talk when they're like on the other side of the uh, or a store, and I have no idea what they're trying to say to me. Marky rookie for the Flyers, Carson Twarinski. Young Guns of Koivula for the Islanders. Canvas for the uh, Rangers of Truba. Marky Rookie of Sandine for the Maple Leafs. Portrait Rookies of Daniel you're taken for the San Jose Sharks. Young Guns for the Jets of David Gustafson. Yeah, I don't think it looks super intentional, to be honest. Canvas of Franz Nielsen. Marky, rookie of your taking for the Sharks. We got a blue OPG of Truba for the Rangers. Marky, rookie of Bjorn Fopp for the LA Kings. Canvas of Kuchera for the Tampa Bay Lightning. 
Young Guns, Pierre Engvall for the Maple Leafs. Portrait of Pitlick for the Preds. Ooh, nice. Exclusive Young Guns, the 100, John Marino for the Penguins. Marino for the Penguins. Young Guns exclusives. Update of Corey Perry for the Dallas Stars. Thank you, sir. So let's hope. Let's hope they do well. Portraits, rookies of Mario Ferraro for the Sharks. What a box. Young Guns for the Caps of Beck Malenstein. And a rookie flashback fabrics patch out of 15, Max Jones. Max Jones out of 15. We've got a retro rookie of Cody Glass for the Golden Knights. Young Guns for the Sharks, Noah Gregor. Marky, rookie of Jack Hughes for the Devils. We got a retired canvas of Kirk McLean. Vancouver, Kirk McLean. Portrait of Elvis for the Blue Jackets. Young Guns of Zadina for the Red Wings. Holy box of awesomeness. A rookie dual jersey of Zadina Hirose. How is this box like for the Red Wings? What a loaded box of cards. A patch. I think the exclusives came out of that box too, right? One more box left. Marky Rookie of Hayden for the Coyotes. Canvas of Anisimov for the Senators. Portrait of Olofsson for the Buffalo Sabres. Young Guns, Capo, Caco for the Rangers. Rookie Jersey of Bofist for the Devils. Bofist. Marky, Rookie of Bofist for the Devils. Retro of Varlama for the Islanders. Max Verano for the Ottawa Senators Young Guns. The dual Hiroshi Zadina. Marky Rookie of Cody Glass for the Vegas Golden Knights. Shifley for the Jets. Canvas. Subban for the Devil OPT. Portraits Rookies of Libor Hayek. For the Rangers. Alexi Sorella for the Florida Panthers. Crazy. Zuccarello for the Minnesota Wild Canvas. Nakita Gusev for the Devils Young Guns. Portrait rookies of Hayden for the Coyotes. Ooh, nice. We've got a one-of-one one base of Nazem Kadri for the Maple Leafs, 30th anniversary.
Marky Rookie Retro Kirby Doc for the Hawks. Young Guns for the Sharks, Noah Gregor. Canvas of Kuznetsov for the Caps. Marky Rookie of Twarinski for the Flyers. Portraits Rookies of Bunneman for the Flyers. We got another random of Doc and Kako for the Rangers and the Hawks. And finish out with a Marky Rookie Blue of McKayev for the Leafs. There she goes, folks. All right, I'll be right back. He's got to let her out.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that. All right, I have a lot of people out of the house. Get out of my house. All right, so. I want to get the randoms ready. So what do we have here? We got Rangers. All right, so what are your guys' predictions for the game? All right, time. The Flyers, yeah, man, they look good. They look really good right now. I need a 3,200 count. I don't have boxes for the base here. All right, so I'm going to do the random for 12.73. Here we go. The multi randoms, 12.73, everything three times. Oilers, caps, one, two, three. Oilers, Canucks, Devils, one, two, three. Three, the Devils, and the Rangers Hawks. One, two, three, the Hawks. Yeah, honestly, Philly, even before, obviously, COVID started. All right. So, Oilers, Devils, Hawks. Oilers, Devils, Hawks. All right, folks. So, You'll come back after the first. All right, so stature are 12076. All right, I will go grab one of the six boxes, and then we'll go crush this one. And again, folks, the monster is pretty close. I would love to get the monster going sooner than later. But it is time to do the stature. I have in green here. Stature is on red. All right. All right. Good luck, everybody. Twelve, seven, six. Stacha. Here we go. Good luck. Here we go, Stature, uh, six box rake. Best of luck. I seem to have lost a few viewers at the hockey game. I wonder why. <laughs> it's not like any Leafs, any fans here. 
Phil Esposito for the Boston Bruins. Esposito. We got an LA Kings, Drew Doughty. Drew Doughty. For the Flyers, a 399, Connor Bunneman. Connor Bunneman. For the Nashville Predators, a 199, Colin Blackwell. Colin Blackwell. For the Chicago Blackhawks, the 85, Alex Dabrinkat. For the Maple Leafs, rookie Reliance Auto, Trevor Moore. I would love Robertson to score, like, nice and early. And that's a healthy start. Number uh, one of 33, two-color rookie patch auto for the LA Kings, Blake Lazard. Number to 33, Blake Lazard. We got a Boston Bruins Pasternak esteemed. For the San Jose Sharks, Brent Burns. For the Vegas Golden Knights, William Carlson. For the Detroit Red Wings, the 399, Giovanni Smith. Detroit Red Wings. For the Flyers, the 149, Morgan Frost. 149, Morgan Frost. For the Boston Bruins, the 149, Cam Neely. For the San Jose Sharks, the 75, rookie of Middleton. San Jose Middleton. We got a rookie reliance for the Carolina Hurricanes, Julian Gauthier. Julian Gauthier. For the Penguins, we got a green to 149, Sidney Crosby. Sidney Crosby. And we got a century of Chelios for the Red Wings. Mm -hmm. For the Penguins, Yarmer Yager. For the Rangers, Artemi Panarin. For the Minnesota Wild, Capo Kakinen. Capo Kakinen. For the Montreal Canadiens, the 149, Kotkin Yemi. For the Blue Jackets, a red base parallel of Bemstrom. Blue Jacket. For the Blues, rookie auto to 199, Mackenzie McEachern. And we've got a nice one, number 245. Reliance Red Parallel for the Blue Jackets, Elvis. Elvis. And we've got an esteemed of Joe Thornton for the Sharks. Three 
more boxes. For the Flyers, Carter Hart. For the Hawks, the 399, Adam Bofist. Adam Bofist. For the Sens, the 399, Rudolph Balsers. Balsers. For the Red Wings, the 149, Philip Sedina Green. Philip Zadina Green. For the Boston Bruins, the 75, Phil Esposito. Phil Esposito. Nice. A 35 green, sorry, 65 green base parallel auto, Joe Pawlowski. Joe Pavelski. We've got number to 85, Steve Eiserman. Red portraits, or Red Wings, sorry, portraits. We've got a Bokefist rookie reliance for the Hawks, and a Dimitro Timoshov for the Maple Leafs. For the Red Wings, Steve Eiserman. Base. For the Ottawa Senators, Vitaly Abramov. Well, it's still 0 0, though, right? Not going to lie, I haven't really looked. But for the Vancouver Canucks, 399, Zach McEwen. Zach McEwen. For the Maple Leafs, the 149, Rasmus Sandin. Sandine. For the Maple Leafs, the 149, John Tavares. For the Carolina Hurricanes, Portraits 85, Tara Vinen. Tara Vinen. Another green auto to 65, Ben Bishop. Dallas Stars. Ben Bishop. For the Rangers, rookie to three ninety nine, Capo Caco, Capo Caco, and a century momentous of Gretzky for the Oilers. Let's go, Dallas. For the Boston Bruins, Bergeron base. For the Islanders, 399, Koivula. Otto Koivula. For the Oilers, 399, Gaten Haas. Gaten Haas. For the Devils, the 149, Nico Heischer. Green. For the Capitals, 85, Martin Fairberry. For the Ottawa Senators, autograph of Shabbat. Base auto, Shabbat. That is a nice one. Probably a case, to be honest. A rookie green auto. Green is the theme. Number to 85 for the Hawks, Kirby Dawg. Auto number to 85, Kirby Doc. And we finish off in a steam of Blake Wheeler for the Jets. Well, we got the Lazat patch. And a Kirby Doc auto.
All right, so Arizona stunk, yeah, sadly. Apologize. So other than hockey going on, I'm going to clear out some emails. But so I had a fun uh, customer come in, and I always love conversation about the hobby. So it was a newer customer that I guess saw pricing on Beckett. Now, I want to make sure I bring this up properly because I don't want to, like, miss say anything on uh, pricing. So he shows me a paper, okay? Legitimately shows me a paper for some uh, gradings. And I, obviously, I'm not saying it's a bad, you know, people who deal with it, whatever. But I think it's through Grossner, okay? Now, we don't really deal with Grossner at all. But the customer was asking me the differences. And it, I found it kind of funny. And by the way, I am doing emails while I'm talking. As you guys always know, I am not just not doing anything. But I found it kind of funny. So here's what the paper apparently said. Now listen to this. So anyone who sits there and says in all honesty that you think maybe like the M&T pricing or even KSA for that matter you know, maybe the cards don't sell as much as you guys say, whatever. If that's what you want to go by, okay? So here's what the paper said. To submit one card for a three to four week service, and again, let me clarify, three to four week service, once they get the card, once Beckett gets a card. So you got to envision... That card is not getting to them for at least a week or two. So now it's basically six weeks of grading, okay? It will cost you $55 per card, plus you got to pay insurance, which is $10, plus you got to pay $15 for shipping, return shipping. So you are paying for one card, what is that, 55, 10, 15, $80 to get a card graded. For a three to four week special. And here's the other fun one, okay? Their best price one, in my opinion, is the first option they have is $22 plus 15 shipping plus 10 return. You're paying $47. You know what the guarantee on that one is? Five months. How can you, if anyone sits there and tells me how you honestly think that is a better deal, it blows my mind. Let me give you guys a good example. Let's take a Dominic Kubalik rookie right now. Okay? If you wanted to get that Kubalik rookie, which basically shot up from $15, I think up to like 60 bucks right now. Okay? If you went with MNT, you're going to have that back in about six to eight business days. Probably, sorry, six business days guaranteed for 25 bucks. Or you can send it to Beckett and you can and you can pay $80 and get it back in approximately two months. Now, for those telling me, is it better to sell this card while it's hot and graded? So let's say that Kubalik 9.5 goes for 100 bucks, Beckett. And let's say for conversation, it goes for 85 for MNT. Are you honestly going to tell me you don't think that extra 60 bucks you saved on the grading counts? And not only the 60 bucks you're saving, the four months of service helps out. <laughs> it honestly blows my mind because that customer, um, when they talked to me about it, they were legit and they're going like, oh, the deal's really good. And I, I tried to explain it in the nicest way possible. It's like, how is that deal? anywhere close to good in my opinion and don't get me wrong this is not i'm upset with how beckett great i think beckett and mnt as i've said this for the longest time are the two hardest graders in our industry i love that about beckett i really do but it blows my mind how people will be so quick to judge on ebay over five or ten bucks but completely ignore that it takes months longer and it costs you significantly more money but that gets ignored. Beckett's in the U.S. So imagine us sending to, to the U.S. right now. You're looking at at least 
two weeks to get there, maybe a week and a half if you're lucky. But it is, it's so funny because people constantly just talk about how, you know, the, the, the pricing difference potentially for Beckett and, uh, and M&T, which I don't disagree with. There might be a bit of a difference, honestly. That I've seen cases that we sold for more. I've seen Beckett sell for more. It annoys me that people don't look at the entire thing, that the pricing is significantly like, higher. And I've said this for the longest time. The amount of people that honestly submit to Beckett right after Series 1, you literally are losing half your value just by the wait time alone. Well, here's the honest thing, Rich. And I'm not like, let's say Kubalik has another game or two where he just is on fire. The problem is, if Kubalik doesn't make it past the first round, there goes all your, you know, um, money investment that you put into it. it. It honestly just blows my mind that people don't factor that stuff in and said, I understand. But, you know, if there's a bit of a difference, like, I, I honestly do. But it, it it's hilarious because I had this conversation at the Expo the one year where the guy was like, I want to get a raw, a raw grade done by Beck. And I was like, I think it was a McKinnon Young Gun, which sold for, like, 100 bucks, Right? And I was like, okay, so, Han, you're going to spend, I think it was $50 to get raw graded by Beckett versus, I think, M&T Special is 15 do you honestly think there's a $40 difference on a $100 card? Uh, you sent me the letter about Beckett. Sorry, which one was that one? I haven't seen that one. So they, they sent you an email about price increases? By the way, we have four left in Ingrain and three left in the Monster if you guys want to get that going. So can you give me the, Jennifer, can you give me the short form of what it said? Obviously, I, I know you just said about the price increases. Can you just kind of give me a short form of why? Because obviously it's kind of somewhat pertinent to this conversation. So they're increasing their pricing on two day and ten day. Are they still are they guaranteeing or no, Rich? Did they at least say they're going to guarantee those? No guarantee. That's awesome. It just, I don't know, it blows my mind when you have conversations. I, I am all for if you like Beckett's service, you think they do a good job. You know, I understand that, obviously. 
prices will decrease. I still don't understand. So you're increasing pricing, but not guaranteeing a service. It's like it's a double whammy, in my opinion. Well, here's the one thing. Again, I would like you guys to honestly, and, and I will also be honest with you guys, you got to remember reputation also is very important for a lot of companies. And obviously when we started as a company, we relied on our members to really you know, talk positive about us and be about us. I will appreciate if you guys ever see on like our forum or trading like Facebook or other places, anyone talk ill of MNT, because they are a business partner of ours guys. It is. It means a lot, I know, to companies, especially small ones, to maybe actually infuse some honest reality into people. That it might not be a bad thing. Like, like the way I look at this, MNT has not only kept their day service the exact same; they have not increased their pricing. So not only are they hitting all their goals, and I can tell you, we have fed them a lot more graded cards than ever before, and they still have never missed a goal. Obviously, with shipping, sometimes it's slow. We can't control that. That's impossible. And, and you know what, David? Honestly, I will say as much as I love the give your money to Canada type thing, I will be completely candid with you. I'm not a big fan of that because I don't. I, I dislike when a lot of the Americans, for example, would sit there and say they don't want to give Canada the money because it's Canada. I'm never a big fan of that. I think you should always deal with the companies that give you the best service and the honest service. Rich, I'm curious how they're going to do. I, I honestly, and I'm just giving you my personal perspective, I don't think they're going to be pretty strong. I think it's going to be a tough to enter, especially with how many – Grading companies are now in the industry. Well, Justin, as I said, people bash because people also don't know. The problem is, like, when when we when we first started, the amount of people that bashed our company and said the most stupidest things that honestly were not even close to true. Like, we had people, and I'm not even exaggerating. We had people on online forums. I remember the one time on Hobby Insider. The guys, were, like a group of three people were posting that we send everything out in plain white envelopes. I have no idea why they even said that. I have no idea why they, like where that came from. I've literally only sent plain white envelopes for checks, which that's the only thing they should be used for. But the thing is, what I was trying to explain, though, is people will talk ill just for the sake of talking ill because I think they're somewhat threatened. And that's honestly what it is. Like, they're, they're legit. You know what the funny thing is, Justin? So I can give you one example of that, okay? Because I, I know how machi like certain machines are. All the slab companies, KSA, PSA, Beckett, m and they all have the same slab machines. It's not like KSA and m and will use different versions of machine. It's a machine press. It, it, one part goes into the other part. It closes it, seals it shut. So it's – I don't know, again, the, the dynamics of it, but I would presume it's somewhat impossible for one – to have a weaker slab than the other in terms of machines. Yeah, like the thing is it's machine press. There's gonna be some machines that are, or sorry, some slabs that are great. Like I, I remember I bought a Beckett card uh, several months ago from eBay and I literally like, it was a bit loose. I could literally open up and it was a bit loose. But I've also had Beckett cards that I've had for 10 years that have been perfect.
So I don't know. It just I, I feel like I said I I will tell you guys it honestly massively helps when you guys help support a good company. So in all honesty, if you guys, anytime you see something negative, instead of just feeding into it, understand that maybe just some people just don't like a certain company because they don't like it. And the biggest common thing, Justin, which I always, I always laugh at, is a lot of people that I talk to that I sit there and they tell me something like, oh, you know, I wouldn't ship my cards in or I heard this and this. I'm like, have you ever dealt with them or ever used them as a service? Well, no. Okay, well, then how do you know if they're really that bad? <laughs> Rich, if you ever need to, send them to us. Obviously, you can send them directly to them, but it just, yeah, as I said, guys, like, to me, kind of what David said earlier, they are a Canadian company that is very nice, especially for us locally here. They do a great job. They don't miss deadlines. They give you guys good service. It's almost like what do you guys honestly want more than that, in all honesty? Because what's your biggest complaint with PSA and Beckett? PSA grades too easy and hands out 10s for everything. And Beckett doesn't return their cards fast enough, and they got pretty bad customer service. Okay, well, those, all those things are taken care of with M&T. Uh, Frank, it's definitely possible on thicker cards. Um, as a, you know, Again, being candid, that's the one Becky card I have too. It was, uh, I think it was a slightly thicker than a 180 point. And the, the, it wasn't cracking, but it was popping. And unfortunately, I feel like that's an upper deck issue. Um, I don't think, I don't think I've ever seen a perfect 10 yet. Yeah. M&T is replacing them. Well, that's even better. And that's my point though, Frank. Like, I can't remember, uh, I think it was Art Veligan who sent me the link. And Art Veligan, correct me if I'm wrong, were you not the person who sent me the link of the one baseball card where it's like a multi-thousand dollar card? The guy, uh, the, the slab came cracked. He sent it back in. He had to pay for the slab. And then he got the card back with the thumbprint on the autograph. Well, Frank, and again, I want you to be as candid as possible. How easy were they to deal with, though, in terms of service? Because obviously you just said they're replacing it. <laughs> are you are they paying are you paying for both ways Frank Jen or just one? Just one. Well, that's not bad. And again, I'm going to be honest from a service point of view. The the one that Rich sent me, which uh, is a multi-thousand dollar card that I got graded, the guy had to pay 30 bucks. 
plus shipping. He had to pay thirty dollars to get a re-slab plus shipping. So considering if that if they're like I'm guessing when you're saying one way, they're obviously shipping it back to you for free. I think that's pretty generous, honestly. And are they charging you for the six uh, replacements or? Well, high value cards, I understand that. I think that makes everyone nervous sending cards, but there's nothing you can do about that. It's like, it's like when we open thousand dollar cards and group breaks, we have to ship them out. So, I don't think that, again, I look at that and say it's not bad service, but yeah. Like, here, here's the thing with any single company. No company is ever going to have perfect slabs, perfect shipping, perfect. Stuff is going to happen with cards. That is, slabs will break from every company. Slabs will get chipped from every company. Labels will fall through. So, and that's, that's to me what matters. In all honesty, that's what the most important thing is, is it's never about, you know, perfection and like they can't have any errors or whatever. It's how do they handle it? Anyone who's had a problem that we have found is they've been taken care of quite well. And that, to me, is kind of the important thing. Oh, I, I don't need to see the picks. If I understand it. Blue shirts. Let me throw this one out there. And I guarantee you, you don't even need to show me who or what it was. I'm guaranteeing people are complaining about grades because their grades didn't come back very good, correct? Which I'm not going to lie. That blows my mind. And I'm not going to say that person's obviously stupid because that's very rude to say. But holy jeez, guys. Grades are meant to be tough. I do not understand the concept. Like, I have a card at home that's a BGS 7 because one of the edges is not good. I don't know why I would be mad about that. If the cards, like, I, I learned, so I had a guy email me a week or so ago saying he sent a card in and got a 9. How did he get a 9 because it's packed fresh? It doesn't make any sense. I don't know how some people think cards are produced. Pack Fresh does not give any sort of – they have to get cut, put through a machine, touched by probably three or four people, opened by us, shipped by us, sent to you, opened by you, sent back to M&T or Beck and whoever you guys are doing. I don't know. It blows my mind that people do not realize that if it's like they don't want honest grades.
The plastic from BGS is thicker grade than MNT. I don't even know what that means, but sure. But that's my thing, blue shirts. In all honesty, that's where I think you guys need to kind of speak up and let that person know, like, what do you honestly expect? Just because it just gets open from a pack. So, and that's the thing is people, I will see a sticker. It's interesting. I'll, uh, I'll check that out. But, yeah, like, to me, I said that it's just. I feel like people need to acknowledge or understand or help when good companies or good people or good things happen in industry. Perfection can never happen. It's not going to happen. Like, here's the thing, Frank, Jen, and let me put it this way. Would you rather have a company that, for example, helps you out customer service, like, to me, it blows my mind that, uh, as Jennifer said earlier, that Beckett could literally send out an email saying, guys, we're going to increase our pricing. We're not going to guarantee our times anymore. Sorry. And that's supposed to be an acceptable thing. All right, just give me a second, guys. I'm going to fill my water again and grab some cantaloupe.
Ah. All right. Cantaloupe. Yeah, I don't understand how the monster got to three and install. All right, you can't wait for cracking cards. It will be nice. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, two left in green, three left in the monster. Here's my deal. Here's my deal. If we can get the monster filled, I will bump it back up to two gray, uh, two stature cards. Sorry, guys, I was just eating. So, again, we got three spots left in the monster. If we get those three filled in the next, say, 15 minutes, I will give two boxes of stature in there. To help you guys out, but we are right there. Two left in green, three left in monster. But I want to get them both going. And somehow the chants are still stuck at 11 left. A $19 chancer with a Patrick Wall auto tape out of 15. I know there's hockey on, folks, but holy moly. How are we still got three left in the monster and two left in the green?
But anyone want to get the ball rolling on those? That would be phenomenal. Two and three. All right. And Green's only got two left, and I, somehow the Monsters only got three. I'm literally offering up two additional $140 boxes. For just three spots, and we're having trouble. I don't understand that. And Ingrained has, let me just double check, L.A. and St. Louis. But we are going to get it going, hopefully. Two and three left. All right, everyone's super quiet in here. You're going to take one spot in grain. Well, that should get it filled. So that would help it. What was the Oilers 50-50 at? Three hundred and sixty-eight. Jesus. That is insane. Like legit.
Kadri with the game winner. Too funny. You did it with point zero one on the clock, really. That's insane. All right. By the way, it looks like ingrained is good. Says zero left. We just need to do the checkouts to happen now. You already checked it. Yeah, we're just waiting for the uh, payments to go through. All right, and I think it officially went through in grain five box break. All right, so let me get everything ready. 12.072. Two in the monster, finally. I don't know how that one's taking so damn long. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I know hockey's on, but if you guys want the monster to go, let's get it going sooner than later. It is a bigger break.
All right. Well, good luck. Yeah, we need a big power play here. That's the goal. <laughs> Twelve oh seven two. Here we go, starting off CNC break number 12,072. We have the ingrained in the membrane. It's the right way. I always forget on ingrained. Nope, this way. Holy, they pack those things in. Let me know if Toronto scores, guys. They're not facing that way, unfortunately. For the LA Kings, 299, Drew Doughty. Drew Doughty. For the Blue Jackets, 299, Emil Benstrom. For the Maple Leafs, rookie auto, Trevor Moore. Trevor Moore. Holy, that's a good start. Carved in time. For the Montreal Canadiens, Larry Robinson. Larry Robinson. For the Hawks, number to 100, Al Secor. Chicago Blackhawks remnants. And a Chicago Blackhawks 49, Alex Debrinka. Box one, great success. For the Oilers, 299, Wayne Gretzky. I did get a haircut. Thank you for noticing. 299, Vitaly Abramov. For the Blues, rookie signature shot, 249, Mackenzie McEachern. Mackenzie McEachern, 249. For that sick. The Penguins, the 100 remnant stick, Yaramur Yager. Yaramur Yager, number to 100. That stick is filthy. Another carved in time of Sedin for the Canucks. And for the Boston Bruins, the 49, Ray Bork. Bork, Bork, Bork. We've got an LA Kings, Drew Doughty to 299. New Jersey Devils, 299, Nikita Gusev. Signature shots for the wild, Nico Sturm. Nico Sturm to 299. For the Hawks, number to, oh, that's a good card now. Number to 65, rookie patch auto, Dominic. Kubalik. Kubalik. Carved in time for the Hawks, Patrick Kane. And for the Blues, the 49, Ryan O'Reilly. Holy Chicago. So Larry Robinson, a Kubalik. And a yogurt stick. Three packs in. This year's ingrained is amazing. Three wood cards. Maybe four now. That's hilarious. 299 Elias Patterson. For the Islanders, 299 Oliver Wallstrom. Signature shots for the Blue Jackets, 249 Alexander Texier. Texier. 
This is just a ridiculous case. Holy jeez. Carved in time auto for the Boston Bruins. Bobby Orr. Bobby Orr carved in time. We've got for the Blue Jackets a 100 Dubinsky. And we've got a Minnesota Wild synthesis of Eric Stahl. How is... Holy Jesus case. All right, so we're going to get a carved in time Gordy Howe in this one now. Because why not? I think we actually did get a carved in time. What is that, five for five? Wayne Gretzky, 299. Might as well. If you're going to have a super loaded case, Dobson to 299 for the Hounders. For the Auto Senators, signature shots, Rudolph Balsers. Rudolph Balsers. For the Blue Jackets, Emil Bemstrom, rookie auto. Yep, and it's not a bad one. Carved in time for the Penguins, Sidney Crosby. Sidney Crosby. We've got another Nick Felino number not another, sorry, but a Blue Jackets remnant stick out of 65 Felino and a synthesis of paling for the Habs. There we go. Holy jeez. Give me one second, folks. I am going to take a picture. He's, holy jeez, that case was amazing. Five of them. See, folks, this is what I've always said to you about sometimes when case collation. Sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it's good. This is a good time. So you know there are most definitely going to be things or cases that have no carved in times. This is one of the cases of why it's going to happen. All right, let's see where we are. All right. Which early bird are you referring to? And which one? Because there's three or four of them. I So here's the thing. I said if you guys can get this filled by 9.15, I'll do two boxes. But I'll extend that till 9.30. So two boxes of stature if this fills in the next seven minutes.
All right. It is long past, but I said, if someone wants to take Arizona and get this fill, I got to see if that last spot is uh, a pending one. <laughs> Ouch, Golden. All right. So if anyone wants to take Coyotes, we got to get going. I also got to get the rest of the break. I think I got like one third of the break going here. So someone looks like they're taking Coyotes. Um, I'm going to see if this person's in the room. Uh, I think it's a new person. Is there a Mark Andre? All right. So uh, I don't think he's in the room. What happens if one doesn't get filled? It just goes the next day or the next day or the next day. There's no set time limit per se on our breaks. They just they generally go within one to two days. Sometimes some take a bit longer. It happens. So I'm going to see I canceled Anaheim just to make sure that – so if you guys want to get the Anaheim spot going, I'm going to get the rest of the break going. Graded Hattrick Silver and update. Okay. Sixteen, sixteen, seventeen. Artifacts, clear cut, nineteen twenty.
Uh, eight feet, oh, sorry, not eight feet. Strikes, that should be fine. Uh, SPX I got, artifacts, clear cut, I got to grab upstairs. SPA and cup. Okay, so SPA and grab. All right, so I got two boxes. I got to grab clear cut and clear cut and cup. So give me one second. Monster keeps flip flopping. We'll get it done, I promise you. Not the prettiest looking display, but. All right. <laughs> Apparently I was. Sometimes I'd have stuff in my head and I'd just go with it. I think I saw the commercial. I think that's what it was. I think they brought back that, that commercial again. All right, let's see where we are, folks.
All right. Well, let's see. Again, guys, I really do apologize on the monster, this kind of stuff. Sometimes it's quite annoying. Is Dan Jay in the room who took Arizona? I don't see you in the room. And I think you try to check. Are you in the room? Yeah, I got to figure out what's. All right, so I'm going to cancel the Arizona spot. So canceled. All right, it should be available. There we go. So once that gets checked out, um, just a quick FYI, as normal, guys, I did say you're a bit late on the other combo, but whatever. Hockey's back. Everyone's happy. Yay, yay, yay. Um, I will do the two stature boxes as a thank you for getting it filled. As for uh, the break stature, the early birds always go on top, so it'll be the two early bird statures and then the, uh, I think it's five or six money giveaways. And then after that, um, just so you know, there may be a knock on the door. Uh, it's just a food delivery. Um, apparently around 10 ish, I'm going to be getting it. So just pay attention to that, please. Then I might have to jump out of the room just very quickly. Uh, some wings. I am getting some wings. So give me one second. Straights. And straights, the EMT is good. Wash my hands. I didn't say I'm going to eat them while I'm doing uh, breaks. <laughs> I just said I have to get them. 
I'm going to be in the middle of a monster. <laughs> That'd be quite awesome. <laughs> Just stop the monster, start eating some wings in the middle. Get back at it. Uh, I just said there will be two of them. I said I will do two because I feel like I'm in a good mood with hockey being back. If the Leafs were losing, that's a different animal. I'd be a little upset, and I'd say no. All right, so again, guys, I will just state quickly, in the middle of the break, at one point, I might have to just quickly go grab the food. I do apologize, but uh, I'll be as quick as I can on that. All right, good luck, everybody. 12.075. Here we go, starting off scene to break 12.075. We've got the monster. Good luck. The team draft monsters, yep. Don't worry, we'll have some for V11 soon. We got a game used jersey of Scott Glennie for the Dallas Stars. Scott Glennie. And we've got a, someone else on the other team on this one, Shane McGulkin. Shane Golkin. All right. All right, all right, all right. New York Rangers. Interesting. Okay. It's the Rangers. We've got for the Blue Jackets, three ninety nine Gabriel Carlson. Gabriel Carlson. We've got for the Anaheim Ducks, six ninety nine Matt Clark, dual jersey. And we've got for the Maple Leafs, number to fifty debut thread jersey auto, Christian Hansen. All right. Got the graded cards here now. We got a graded nine young gun to Stefan DeCosta. Auto Senators. We got a nine five young gun to Tommy Wingles. Tommy Wingles. And a graded nine young gun, or not young gun, Ice Premier's Auto to 299, Oliver. Shellington. Calgary Flames. All right. We've got a triple Royal Lineage jersey where these numbered of uh, Neely Bergeron Sagan. For the Devils, the 193 Taylor Hall. For the Maple Leafs, the 499 JVR. JVR. For the Penguins, we got a rainbow of Kunitz. For the Penguins, 
We've got a showcase swatches number to 25, prime juror, prime showcase swatches, Martin St. Louis. For the Rangers, we've got a jersey of Kreider. Kreider. And for the San Jose Sharks, Synergy, red rookie of Tim Heed. All right, let's see what's in the packs here. LaBase. And a whole lot of base. These packs here, we got the Ice Ice Baby. We've got a Lungfist Green for the Rangers. And a Maxime Comtois for the Anaheim Ducks Ice Premiers jersey. We've got a Vegas Golden Knights of Riley Smith to $7.99. Sorry, guys, I was asking. All right, so I'll do this box next and this one after. We got a retro rookie of Eichel, Buffalo Sabres. Sam Britton Portraits, Florida Panthers. Brandon Sod OPG Update for the Blue Jackets. Garrett Sparks Young Guns for the Maple Leafs. I mean, there's hockey on, that's why. Nick Ritchie for the Anaheim Ducks. Marky Rookie Rainbow, Miko Rontanen. Marky Rookie for the Sharks, Dylan DeMello. Frank Vetrano. Oh, excuse me. I had to back away there. Frank Vetrano. Jonathan Bernier, Canvas for the Maple Leafs. Linus Omar, Young Guns. Game Jersey, Mark Shifley for the Winnipeg Jets. Mark Shifley. We've got a Vertanen, Young Guns. Young Guns for the Habs, Mike McCarron. Mike McCarron. We've got a marquee rookie for the Buffalo Sabres, Jack Eichel. My retro rookie of Dylan DeMello for the Sharks. Sorry, B. Golden, what was that? Mark Alt Young Guns for the Flyers. Marky Rookie of Panarin for the Hawks. Mike Condon Portraits for the Habs. Victor Arvidsson Portraits for the Preds. 
Marky Rookie of Jared McCann, Vancouver. Canvas of Krejci for the Bruins. Marcus Hanekainen for the Blue Jackets. And an Eric Stahl for the Carolina Hurricanes. What grand fury was it? Marky Rookie of Konechny for the Flyers. Canvas of Bodker for the Sharks. You can kind of somewhat know Kyle, the user ID name on the bidding. Casey Nielsen, Young Guns for the Buffalo Sabres. Chase uh, DeLeo, Young Guns for the Jets. Portraits of Lekkonen for the Habs. Marky, rookie of Beauvillier for the Islanders. Base. Canvas of Andres Athanasiu for the Red Wings. Jesus. Troy Stetcher, Marky, rookie, Vancouver Canucks. Young Guns Canvas, Adam Ernie, Tampa Bay. Young Guns of Larson for the Anaheim Ducks. Portrait of Barzel for the Islanders. Rainbow of Shea Weber for the Habs. Duclair, or sorry, D'Angelo for the Coyotes. Portrait of Oliver Bjorkstrand. I'm going to say Duclair. Jamal Smith, Young Guns for the Dallas Stars. Marky, rookie of Larson for the Anaheim Ducks. Shane Harper, Young Guns for the Panthers. Canvas of Pekka Rene for the Preds. Retro rookie of Warinsky for the Blue Jackets. Portrait of Stetcher for the Canucks. Steven Johns, Young Guns for the Dallas Stars. Anna Kyle Ocposo for the Buffalo Sabres. All right, we'll do the ice. Blue shirts, I am going to ban you. Jack Eichel, green for the Buffalo Sabres. And an ice premieres jersey of Brett Howden. Lungfist Green for the Rangers, twelve ninety nine of Lamico for the Panthers. <laughs> we got a Matthews Green for the Maple Leafs and a ninety nine Ice Premier's Rookie of Tolvanen for the Preds. Tolvanen. 
Tolvanen for the Preds. Sweet! Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. Kuznetsov Green for the Caps. And a 9.99 of Michael McLeod for the Devils. Boston Bruins, Bergeron, Green, and an ice premiere to 2.99 for Robiev for the Flyers. We've got a green of the Winnipeg Jets, Wheeler, and a Forsberg for the Preds, Sub Zero. All right, art effects. I feel like a creeper looking out my window just waiting for the person to come with like the food. I feel like I'm just like staring out the window and just like, where's the food? We've got for the Nashville Predators dual rookie jersey, 199 Fabro. Dante Fabro. Six ninety nine Tampa Bay Lightning of Kucherov. Eighty five parallel for the Flyers of Sean Couturier. Remnants jersey of David Perron. Saint Louis Blues. Six ninety nine for the Dallas Stars, Jamie Ben. Rookie Redemption, Ottawa Senators. Woo, nice. We've got for the Ottawa Senators dual rookie jersey auto patch, number to forty five, Eric Brandstrom. Eric Brandstrom. It's a nice uh, rookie patch. And a two ninety nine Boston Bruins gold of Marchand. I think a commercial is us on too. I think a commercial is playing with my head now. You know all blue shirts. I don't think anyone can uh, listen to your advice anymore because you said the Rangers are going to come out and be amazing and Kako is going to come out and be amazing. And I don't think he did anything and the Rangers lost. And to be honest, if it wasn't for Lungfist, they would have lost by a lot. <laughs> We've got a seismic gold of Backstrom, number to 50. Seismic gold. So your Rangers sucked. White Ice of Tarasenko for the Blues. Jack Eichel, rookie for the Buffalo Sabres. We've got a Rainbow Retro Potman for the Islanders. Gallia for the Caps. I don't know. You hyped us up on how the Rangers are going to be a different team. Tracks of Jamie Benn for the Stars. Houdon for the Montreal Canadiens. We've got a Shinkadok for the Vancouver Canucks uh, rookie and a Ronald Keenan's rookie auto for the Vancouver Canucks. Tracks of Camilleri for the Devils. And we got an Ehlers for the Jets, marquee rookie. Retro of Ben for the Stars, Condon for the Habs, marquee rookie. We got a team logo of Crosby for the Penguins. Retro rookie, Connor McDavid. That's a good one. Surprisingly worth a lot more. Especially graded. Carolina Hurricanes, Ron Francis, team logo. Panarin, marquee rookie for the Hawks. Retro of Crosby for the Penguins. Adam Pellish, Markey, rookie for the Islanders. We've got a rainbow of Malkin for the Penguins. Sam Bennett for the Calgary Flames. Nice. I hope you do well. We've got a Taylor Lear, Markey, rookie for the Flyers. 
Retro of Henrique for the Devils, and a blue rainbow auto, Oscar Clefbaum for the Oilers. Clefbaum for the Oilers. We've got a rainbow rookie of Larkin for the Red Wings. Retro rookie of Ehlers for the Jets. Rain, or sorry, rookie of Andrew Kopp for the Jets. Shane Doan, rainbow for the Coyotes. Retro of Lemieux for the Penguins. Fabry for the Blues. Superstars of Pavelski for the Sharks. Omar for the Buffalo Sabres. Rainbow of Ryan for the Sens. Goldobin for the Sharks. Mark, you rookie. And we got a red prism for the Rangers. The 149 Nash and a Ben Hutton for the Vancouver Canucks. That's a good one for the Carolina Hurricanes. Exclusive rookie auto to 65, Nicholas Waugh. Exclusives rookie auto, Nicholas Waugh. Oh, are you kidding me? That went in. Jeez. We've got for the Habs 299, Carey Price. That was brutal. For the Blue Jackets, Alexander Texier. Signature shots to 249 for the Vegas Golden Knights, Jimmy Schull. Jimmy Schold. For the Red Wings, we've got an autograph, Chris Chelios. Chris Chelios. For the Montreal Canadiens, carved in time of Larry Robinson. Larry Robinson. And that's a nice one. Synthesis the 50. Connor McDavid. That was a big boo boo, eh, Golden? A very big boo boo. We got a spectrum of Crosby for the Penguins. Future icons, Zadina and Larkin for the Red Wings. Blue Jackets All Star update of Cam Atkinson. Moment of Glass for the Vegas Golden Knights. Update of Tristan Jari for the Penguins. Sveshnikov Red for the Carolina Hurricanes. Arizona Coyotes Taylor Hall update. Authentic moment of paling for the Habs. Red of Tarasenko for the Blues.
Moment of Ovechkin for the Caps. We've got a sign of the times for the Minnesota Wild, Eric Stahl. Sign of the times, Eric Stahl. Future Watch Auto, Noah Gregor. $9.99 for the Sharks. If we lose this game, Golden, because of that junky goal, I'm not going to be happy with that. SPS Central of Carey Price for the Habs. SPS Central of Alex DeBrinca for the Hawks. That would be a terrible one. I don't mind losing to like a better team. Patrick Kane All-Star for the Hawks. But to lose on a goal like that, oh my gosh. Jason Zucker update for the Penguins. Matthews Red for the Maple Leafs. And an essential, the Barkov for the Panthers. You think Columbus is going to win? They're doing a good job. Of, well, obviously, one nothing, right? I say they're doing a good job of shutting them down. I'll give them that for sure. We've got an orange of tees for the Hawks and a Seth Jones for the Blue Jackets game jersey. We've got a green of Heiskanen for the Stars, 149 Ice Premier's Retro of L'Esperance for the Stars, and a rookie retro exquisite, or not retro, just an exquisite rookie auto of Middlestad for the Buffalo Sabres. Casey, Middlestad, Buffalo Sabres. We've got a green of Eric Stahl for the Wild. And an Ice Premier's auto to 399 for the Wild of Nico Sturm. Nico Sturm. Green of Goudreau for the Flames. 999 for the Devils of Nathan Bastion. Green of Bergeron for the Boston Bruins. 249 for the Habs. Ryan Paling. Huh. Leasing to score a goal. How do you have one of the highest like powerhouse forwards in the NHL and you guys can't score? It's partially upsetting. Speaking about them, 249 Shadow Box rookie, Casperi Kapanen. Maple Leafs, Shadow Box, Casperi Kapanen. For the Tampa Bay Lightning, Ice Shredders, Jonathan Drouin. Dual jersey. For the Cavs to 149, Alex Ovechkin. And we've got for the Maple Leafs, number to 99, rookie patch auto, Brandon Leipzig. To 99, Brandon Leipzig. I think the food's about to be here, but I might be able to fire off the ultimate soon. Again, I do apologize, guys. Just give me 30 seconds once it's there. For the LA Kings, Luke Robitaille. $3.99. For the Ottawa Senators, Mike Hoffman to $3.99.
For the Red Wings, a 299 rookie auto, Brendan Smith. Brandon Smith. And that's filthy. Number to 100, debut threads patch, Patrick Weirkoch. Beautiful patch. Patrick Weirkoch. Matthews, Marner, and Nylander. Nice. Anaheim Ducks, Saku Koivu. Three ninety nine. Ultimate rookies, three nine nine. Jamie Arneal, Boston Bruins. For the Devils, ultimate rookie patch out of thirty five. Matthias Tettenby. Matthias Tettenby. For the Ottawa Senators, the 100 ultimate dual jersey, Alexei Kovalev. Kovalev. Still waiting for this driver. Oh, I hear a car. One second, folks. Sorry about this. I'll be right back. All right, give me one second, folks. Just going to let the sanitizer sanitize. <laughs> Should be able to stop that go here. For the Canucks to one forty nine, Ben Hutton. Rookie jersey. For the Sharks, number to 149, Don Scoy. Rookie jersey auto. Don Scoy. For the Devils, the 199, Corey Schneider. Corey Schneider. Retro rookie, or not a retro, I keep saying that. 275 rookie auto. Anaheim Ducks of Shea Theodore. We got a 299 rookie auto of Frank Vetrano. And another 299 rookie auto of Matthias Janmark. For the Dallas Stars. Dallas Stars, Matthias Yanmark. Stacha. That is retro. Are you sure? Maple Leafs, Dougie Gilmore. I couldn't remember which years was retros. We got a Jonathan Drewen. Yeah, it's a retro to the Crosby, right? The retros of the retros. Boston Bruins, 399, Zach Sennishin. Boston Bruins, 399, 
Boston Bruins, Zach Senishin. For the Boston Bruins, a 149 green of Cam Neely. Cam Neely. Islanders, a 75, Honors Lee. Honors Lee. LA Kings, 199, Matt Waugh. LA Kings, Matt Waugh. We've got for the Oilers, number 99, esteemed green, Connor McDavid. Connor McDavid. And a century of Chalios for the Red Wings. All right, now the big boys. One ninety nine, Johnny Goudreau. One ninety nine, Calgary Flames. Mm, that ain't too bad. Marky Rookie Rainbow Autograph Numbered Six of Six. Nico Heischer. Six of six. Nico Heischer. That is a good one. All right, Premier. For the Islanders, three ninety nine, John Tavares. For the Maple Leafs, Connor Brown at two ninety nine. Connor Brown. Hey, we saw this guy before, I think. Two ninety nine, Brendan Leipzig. For the Maple Leafs. Two ninety nine. For the Red Wings, a 49 Zetterberg. Your swatches of Zetterberg. That is just a cool looking swatch. Number to 23. Mega patch for the Blues. Vladimir Tarasenko. What a beautiful, beautiful patch. And we got for the Avalanche a J. Greer. Here is single. You know what, Golden? I feel like we're going to lose by a crappy goal. That's so depressing. Rookie of Derek Forbor, LA Kings. Winnipeg Jets, 399, Nick Batan. Nick Batan. For the LA Kings, Jonathan Quitt to 399. For the Flyers, to 375, Nick Cousins. Rookie Patch Auto. Nick Cousins. Another beautiful card. Number to 24. Chest Logos Mega Patch. Tuka Rask. Tuka Rask Mega Patch. 
Damn, sexy. We got a rookie auto to 49 of Nattenden for the Montreal Canadiens. And Carolina Jeff Skinner to 199. Where's my big knife? Am I missing my big knife somewhere? There it is. Uh, I'll do 18 19 first. Yeah, I won't be uh, I won't be too happy if we lose on a game like that. But again, it is it is only one game. Depressingly so, but it is only one game. All right, 249 for the Coyotes, Clayton Keller. 249, rookie patch auto, Dominic Cahoon, Chicago Blackhawks. Dominic Cahoon. We've got for the Calgary Flames at 99, Sean Monahan. Signature material patches, beautiful patch. That's a filthy card, and even better. Numbered 11 of 15 scripted sticks for the Rangers. Mark Messier. 11 of 15. Mark Messier. For the Bruins, number 249, your whole Vakaninen. Beautiful rookie patch auto. And Amiro Heiskanen, 249 for the Dallas Stars. Yeah, great hit. So if we can have one nice hit on every single cup tin. A nice finish to this break. We got a 249 Islanders, Mike Bossy. 249 Damon Severson for the New Jersey Devils. That's a decent one. Eight of ten, or sorry, six of ten. Gold rookie patch auto for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Andre Vasilevsky. Vasilevsky numbered to 10 for the Tampa Bay Lightning. That's sick. For the Islanders, brilliant auto John Tavares. Johnny T. One of one printing plate auto for the Buffalo Sabres, Nicholas Delorier. And we've got number 28, exquisite rookie patch auto for the Devils, Damon Severson. Damn. Damon Severson. All right, now the finale to what has been a pretty solid break. Well, we have a really cool finish. 
I love these cards. 249 Carolina Hurricanes, Jordan Stahl. Islanders, Ryan Pulak to 249. 249. For the Minnesota Wild, number 35, scripted materials, Joel Erickson Eck. Joel Erickson Eck. We've got a Patrick Kane to 249, and we've got an autographed ticket booklet number three of seven. Al McKinnis. St. Louis Blues. Al McKinnis. Damn. That was a healthy finish. Holy jeez. Obviously, not everyone's gonna do uh, not everyone's gonna do great in these, but man, that was a nice finish. All right, so give me a few seconds, folks, to get the randoms ready. So for those that did well. Congrats for those that did not do well. Apparently one person didn't do well because my likes went down by one. All right. So give me one second, folks. Yeah, Golden, wouldn't it be funny, though, some big team started uh, getting knocked out? Imagine if, like, it was Edmonton, Pittsburgh, Toronto in the uh, Lafreniere sweepstakes. For the hobby, I wouldn't be up too upset. <laughs> At least wait till after the giveaways. I know. Like, you could win a stature box, or you could win $500 credit, and your entire break's taken care of. Why, why, why do it right after the break if you didn't do well? But it is what it is. All right, so give me a second, folks. All right, so 112075. Give me one second. For the hobby, it's fine, but I would hate it, yeah. Here we go, 11, 000, or sorry, 12,075. The giveaway is three times. One, two, three. And I think it's eight people. I'm going to double check this. I might be wrong, guys. I do apologize. No, it's eight. Capo gets a stature box. J Mac gets a stature box. Creep gets the 500 credit. Ace gets the 200. Broussard and Blue Hat, the 100 and the 100. Lou swimming 50 and Allen has the 50. Congrats. Well, that sucked. Uh, David, yet? Yeah, give me a minute. All right. All right. So give me one second. All right. I'll we'll grab that.
All right, Capo, let me know when you're ready, sir. You know what? I was always on the train of, like, we should have definitely – I was like, get rid of him, but traded him. I, I was not a big fan of his negotiation tactics. Here we go. Capo 40s, free box of Stacha. We could have used that money towards <laughs> – a better defensive core, whatever it is. We've got a Timu Solani. Timu Solani. We got a Anthony Mantha base. Three ninety nine Davidson. Davidson. We've got a red to seventy five Jonathan Hayes. Jonathan Hayes. Number to 85, Marty Broder. Portraits. We've got a rookie reliance auto, Carl Durenstrom. Nice. Number to 15, rookie reliance red auto. Adam Fox. Adam Fox. And we got a century momentous of Bobby Hall. There we go, sir. Oh, there's a lot of Fox collectors out there, so that's not bad. No, don't get me wrong. Obviously, uh, to be honest, if a team doesn't score, you cannot just peg it on one player. That would be insanely unfair. The thing is, when you're commanding that much money, I don't care what team you play on and stuff like that, you have to back that up. And I don't know. I just feel Marner was not that good. The world's ending. No, you know what? I Here's the thing for me. I'm not going to be worried until we lose our second game. If we lose the next game, Rich, honestly, just knowing how – I don't know what the right word to say is, but weak Toronto is potentially, that is when I would be a little worried. They are, are – I absolutely agree with you. They are release. But I also will say you cannot pretend that it doesn't make you thrilled or not thrilled if your player does well. I'm sure you are over the moon that what to say Ryan O'Reilly did exceptionally well. All right, Jimmy, are you in the room, sir? Is Jimmy in the room? Jimmy or George, obviously. Perfect. So I'm going to do your box here. Are you ready? Perfect. Let's crush this. Here we go, Jimmy Conway 23's box of SPA 1920. Oh, Rich. Yeah, no. I, I, I hear what you're saying. It just it's sad because I think honestly, I can tell you from my perspective, Rich, it's more so that the team that we have should be doing better. <laughs> Future icons of Darlene and Eichel. I think that's where a lot of it stems from, right? Like, when you watch this team who should be a powerhouse and just, they just suck. It's just frustrating. 
We've got a rookie auto, Future Watch, Cody Glass. Cody Glass. Authentic moments of Ryan Paling. We got an update of Georgiev. It's also easy, Rich, when your guy lifts up the Stanley Cup. Like, come on. <laughs> We've got a red of Vasilevsky. I bet you in Toronto, uh, when the Stanley Cup, a lot more Toronto fans will be a lot more calm in their life. Ben Bishop, limited red. And an Oliver Bjorkstrand, sign of the times. I don't know. I won't be very happy if Montreal wins. Spectrum of Stamkos. Oh, Jackets played very well. They looked good out there. They played well. They played as a team. Very good game. Authentic winners of Dobson. Future Watch Auto, Sam Steele. Sam Steele. We got an Essentials of Mantha. David Pasternak, update. It's been a solid box so far. Blake Coleman. I don't know. Authentic moments of Bennington. To be honest, I don't know anyone who's seen the last Stanley Cup. <laughs> To be honest, we got a limited of Eichel. But I also think it was different back in the day. I don't think the it was as crazy, right? SPS Centrals of Alex Debrinkat. People are hardcore into sports nowadays, right? Young Guns of Jake Wallman. Henrik Lundqvist, all-star update. And we finish with a moment of McDavid. There you go, sir. Not a bad box. Oh, I'm sure there's a lot of factors that go into it. Gambling 100% would go into that. Especially nowadays, my God, like, in all honesty, it's crazy. When I see, like, obviously I watch UFC, and you start seeing some things like $1 million bet on, like, Amanda Nunez. And you're like, holy jeez. Like, people are just throwing money. All right, so any last call, folks, for the night, because I have the breaks ready to go for tomorrow. I'm going to get the videos up as soon as possible. Any last calls for the evening? I'm pretty sure he Mayweather did, but an insane amount for him is probably not an insane amount, is it? So, any last calls for the evening, ladies and gentlemen? That was a fun night. Monster premiere. Now we get another hockey game. Vancouver and Minnesota, folks. Should be a very uh, high-paced game. All right. Do they really?
<laughs> oh my god. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Well, that's the world that we live in, man. Amazon the beast. They're going to be a beast for a very long time. Yep. Crazy, man. It'd be fun to have that money, wouldn't it? All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I will get the breaks up for you guys for tomorrow. Yeah, wouldn't we all? With that being said, have a good evening and see you guys tomorrow.